Rev it out here, Joe. Uh, uh, what? Rev it out here. We we have a Zoom meeting. For, Zoom meeting. We need our jobs. We need we need more jobs. Uh, get out of here, you. F uh, wait, you're, wait, you're not rolling. I can't call you a fat tub of malarkey. Get out of here, you slick back tub of malarkey. Yes, Master. What was I doing again? Oh, that's right. Yeah. President Lett, you've mentioned more than once how the black vote saved you in your races in the Senate in Delaware. You've talked about your friendship with Mouse. We are now saying the black community have stood up in this election cycle. Let's not suffocate the black vote in Georgia and make sure we send the right message because the success of this administration will be the ability of the Senate to confirm your nominees. We have an opportunity here. We want to make sure we seize upon this opportunity and allowing for the input necessary, 10 more appointments to go. A lot of people in our community are getting a little anxious because they are not seeing enough of the progress they thought they would have seen at this point. Let's not disappoint them and let's not get to a place where voters in Georgia begin to second guess. Okay, let me respond. I, I, I've got I to go. Let me respond. There's a lot to respond to here. Let's get something straight. You shouldn't be disappointed. What I've done so far is more than anybody else has done this far. Okay? Number one. Number two, I mean what I say when I say it. I mean what I say when I say it. I'm the only person who's ever run on three platforms that I was told could not possibly win the election. And I never ceased from it. One was on restoring the soul of this country because of what I saw happen in Charlottesville. That was it. No one else was talking about it. The words of presidents matter. Nobody else, no progressive, was talking about it. I did. My son, Bo, used to have an expression. He'd say, remember, Dad. Remember, Dad. Home base. It ain't worth the job if I can't say what I believe. I didn't want to run this time. I ran this time because of the racist son of a gun who was president of the United States of America. That's why I ran. And you remember, a lot of you told me talking about the soul of America was going over people's heads. They didn't know what we we're talking about. The words of a president matter. What a president says matters. And you've never seen me shy away. In the middle of the debate, I called him a racist. In the middle of the debate with him, I took on white supremacists. I'm the guy that took on every single time somebody was threatened in this country. The only white boy you know who did it, period. So, Joe Biden goes to meet with civil rights leaders and he pimp slaps them right in their face. Now, uh, I know some black folk are mad about this, but uh, 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 how can I put this? Hey, black folk, come come closer. Come a little closer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just a little closer. Uh, yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 stop. Right there. Right there. Stay right there. Your civil rights leaders have been bought and paid for for generations now. What did you expect? Oh, you expect it was going to actually get something done for black people? No. They were up there, they were up there begging for jobs like they usually do. Oh, we, we, we did a job, Martha! We did a job in the Biden administration, Biden Harris administration. Which is why Joe Biden to told him, uh, 
I've done more for you boys and girls than anybody else. I didn't even want to run. run, run this that tape. I didn't even want to run. But you boys and girls beg. But you, but you boys and girls begged me, begged me to run for the, to recapture the soul of the nation. And, and now you want, want to sit up here, uh, Joe Biden. Uh, I don't even know. I'm not going through Joe's, Joe Biden's record. You should know it by now. Based on Joe Biden's record, you thought Joe Biden was going to handle you with kids, kids' gloves. Lord. And he pimps after him and also told him. And I, I, I have to give Joe Biden credit. He told him the truth. He said, look, uh, the white population's dying and... um." You're going to have to beg for jobs for the Latinos. That's what he basically told them. Yeah, go 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 beg the Latinos for jobs. He didn't say that, but he said go work with the Latinos. But in the so-called civil rights leaders case, go uh, uh, what he, Joe Biden basically told him is go beg to go beg the Latinos for, for jobs. Because that's that's all the good that, that's all the so-called civil rights groups are good for is, is begging for jobs for themselves and not helping black people. But yeah, I, I, we got all these goofy Negroes that had all that smoke for Ice Cube that actually wanted to help black people. Said, "Oh no, you better. We gotta wait till after the. He should have waited. He shouldn't have talked to Trump. Trump. He should have just just we just waited till after the election." Well, you knuckleheads waited to, a, a, after the election, and what happened? You got pimp slapped. And uh, from what I've heard, Ice Cube ain't got no sipping for you, and I don't either. You, the civil rights groups have been selling you out for almost 50 years now. Ever since Dr. King died. And you knuckleheads are still waiting on them to do something for you. Some of you knuckleheads are still... Are still going up there, uh, literally on your knees, begging the Democrats to do something for you. They ain't done shit for you in over fifty years, and you're still on your damn knees begging them to do something for you. While other races are are are, are streaming right past us, but you, but some of you goofy Negroes, like, no, no, don't upset Massa. We just have to beg. We have to get on these back. Is this your so-called civil rights? Is it, is this is what is, is this what civil rights has become? Your so-called civil rights leaders. Dr. King didn't beg. Doc, Dr. King put political pressure on them to get the rights that we got. He didn't stand. He didn't stay on his knees begging them to do something for us. And let's be honest, they shot him. Be they shot him because he he says where's our check at? Oh, but you 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 want to shoot down people that, that ask for reparations, call them Russian bosses, says oh Stone, don't you ask Moscow for no for no check? I'm gonna be a court slave. But you know, I'm I'm not surprised Joe Biden pimp slapped you. That's why I didn't vote for him. Don't 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 you look at me. I I didn't vote for him. I I get it. You didn't like Trump either, but um, don't look at uh Biden was no bad. That's why I said you're just trading one racist for another. But uh, hey you hey, some of y'all made your bed. Now you have to lie in it. Now I'll take masses watching. Beep, beep, beep. You better watch your tone, Master Joe. You better watch your tone. Beep, beep, beep. I heard what you said to the civil rights leader. You better watch your tone, Master Joe. You better watch your tone. You better watch your tone. Beep, beep, beep. 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 Uh, beep, beep, beep. I still
need the job, master. You still got a job for me, master? Get out of here, you fat tub of malarkey! Come on, what was I doing again? Hey, yo. This is AB Media. 83. You like this content? You like what I do? Hit the Cash App link. Support your interests. Don't be another statistic. Use your own gifts. Do what you do. Keep it grinding. Keep it pushing. Keep it moving. This is AB Media. 83. And I'm out.